Welcome to this real quick presentation on the Federal Reserve and their upcoming announcement on an interest rate rise. So here's just a few facts about this meeting that's going to take place over the next two days. The federal funds rate has remained since about late 2008 between zero and a quarter percent. A final announcement is going to be made available on the Federal Reserve Board's Freedom of Information and Public Affairs offices and also on their website. This will be following the closed meeting tomorrow. Also, the meeting will be associated with a summary of economic projections, and also there'll be a press conference by Janet Yellen, head of the Federal Reserve. Before I continue the presentation, I just want to go over the article real briefly with you. So you can see on the article, I have a few screenshots of some important information. This shows you the federal funds rate. You can see how there was an increase because the economy was doing pretty good. And as soon as we hit that recession around 2007, 2008, they lowered the rate once, then again, and then again, and it's basically stayed at that same level for the last six years. Also, if you look at U.S. hourly wages, you can also see that around the same time that they lowered interest rates, hourly earnings have gone down as well. Also, the official unemployment rate as of 2015, even though they're saying it's about 5%, according to Shadow Stats, he's got it at about 22.9%, basically 23% unemployment rate. So it may not be the best time to raise interest rates, but uh, the Federal Reserve may be actually backed into a corner. They may not be able to do anything at this point. Also in the article I wrote, it's a great video of Peter Schiff, a recent one where he's talking about the Federal Reserve and what their next move may be. Here is Janet Yellen specifically laying out the plans she has to increase the federal funds rate. It's a place for you guys to subscribe if you're not on the email list. Finally, here's another video with Janet Yellen speaking, talking about labor gains boosting her confidence in a return to 2% inflation. So that is another aspect of her deciding to raise interest rates is if the labor market's doing better. And this is from Bloomberg. Definitely take a look at this quick video. Also in the article, what I posted was the official transcript from the Federal Reserve meetings. You can see I put some of it in italics. That's just some of it that I wanted you guys to pay attention to, talking about further improvement in the labor market and how they said that they, they were reasonably confident. Now, the way I have this arranged, it goes through all the Federal Reserve meeting minutes from the most recent to the least recent, so you can see how their tone has changed as to what they were saying, where originally they wanted to wait till things got better, till now they're saying, well, we're expecting it's going to get better over the next two years. This is the civilian labor force participation rate, and you can clearly see, if we go ahead and zoom in, this is on my site, you can see how since the recession started, it's gone down considerably. So there's actually less people in the labor force right now than there were when this whole recession started. In fact, if you bring it back to the 70s, you can go ahead and compare the rate right now as to where the civilian labor participation rate is, is actually about the same level it was in the late 1970s when we were experiencing heavy inflation. Now, right now, we, don't, we have basically no inflation according to the official numbers. So keep that in mind. We have very little inflation, and the Federal Reserve is going to about to maybe raise interest rates. So just keep that in mind for a moment. There's some more minutes here from the Federal Reserve on September 16th and 17th of 2015. Notice these meetings are always two, two days. And again, in July 28th, 29th. So just if you have a sec, please go through and read exactly what they're saying. And I had to arrange it that way because I wanted you to see how the narrative has changed. Okay, going back to the presentation, definitely watch the global stock markets. They'll probably be very volatile, especially if the rates actually do increase tomorrow. Now, as of right now, late Monday, the day before the meeting, the global markets are already mixed. There's already issues with the Asian markets. So I'm keeping an eye on those. You guys should as well. Now, regarding gold and silver, they're probably going to experience some sharp corrections the day of the announcement. Now, they may go, it may go down a bit, it may go up a bit, but there's going to be some huge corrections guaranteed. Definitely watch the U.S. dollar index, see if any changes happen there. And also websites like XE.com will be useful. That way you can compare the current exchange rates versus the U.S. dollars. You can compare the U.S. dollar versus the yen, the euro, the pound. Those are the three that I recommend you take a look at the most. And definitely subscribe for updates on globalcurrencyreset.net. Thanks for watching this presentation. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave me a comment below.
I look forward to reading all of your comments, and I'll look for you guys in the next video.